Welcome back. News 8 is putting you first. Kids are going to have to go back to school. That means they might have to start waking up earlier, which means they might have to go to bed sooner. I know. It's happening. Maureen, though, is joined with experts on how to make that an easy transition. Absolutely. We're just a few short weeks away till the start of school. It is pretty important to get your kids ready in terms of their bedtimes. I know quite a few young little ones who've been spending a summer up late all the time. Joining me now is Kim Chesko. She is with uh, Pittsburgh Central School District. Kim, what grade do you teach? I teach uh, K-5 through five music. Okay, so you are well aware that yeah. there is a transition going on. Oh, yeah. Um, I was just telling you about some little ones I know who have been spending lots of late nights this summer. How do you get them ready? So I think it's really common for kids to have a different schedule in the summer, you know, staying up later, maybe getting up later. Um, but when we start to get to these last few weeks before school, you can't just wait until that last day before school starts to put them to bed early and get them up early because they're going to be grouchy and they're not going to be their best for that first day. So starting about now, we should really start moving that bedtime maybe back or uh, like 10 minutes, maybe a day, 5, 10 minutes a day, and getting them up maybe 5 to 10 minutes earlier so that when they, we're ready for that first day of school, they're set, they're ready, they're feeling rested, and they can go in and really be their best. And we might as well talk a little bit about um, hours of sleep. We might touch upon yes. that a little later with the fine doctor who is here, but what's an optimal sleep time duration-wise? So for elementary students, you're talking surprisingly about 10 to 11 hours a night for them to really feel rested and ready for school. Um, when you they get older, middle school, high school, eight to nine hours is probably best. And you, you really can't set when they get up because that depends a lot on buses and school right. starts, but you can set when they go to bed. So that's something to definitely think about as a family. All right, Kim, thank you so much. We're going to let you get to the phones. 287 right. 8005 is the number to call. Kim will be here, as will other experts now through 6 30 to answer all of your questions about back to school school and getting ready, not just your children, but maybe quite a few parents as well. It's a big transition. 